Good evening, everybody. Your Royal Highness, Excellent, Excellency, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ileana La Rosa. I am the founder and director of Aliadas en Cadena, a Venezuelan nonprofit organization that advances women's human rights. Women lack opportunities in economic security, health, and leadership. Women are still heavily exposed to physical violence and face severe gender discrimination. Women have less access to science and technology and are faced by a severe digital gender gap. We believe that ensuring women full equality is the most effective way to build a just and peacefully society. Therefore, in 2005, we started to address these gender issues. In 2006, we opened our first workshop to promote gender equality by empowering women through the ICT training, entrepreneurship, and life skill programs. This includes training courses in ICT, office skills, and personal development. We also provide them with the basic in money management and give support for business startup. We focus on low-income women. Aliadas en Cadenas believe that supporting underprivileged women provides the highest impact regarding social programs. These women are the breadwinners and leaders of the Venezuelan family, typical Latin male role models. Aliadas en Cadena seeks to provide them the space, the tools, and the support to allow their personal, social, and economic growth. This will provide empowerment and a better life for them and their families. Our ultimate goal is for them to find and keep well-paying jobs. Our mission today is in line with the UN's Sustainable Development Goal number five, achieve gender equality and empower all women and girls. We have six core computer training centers. So far, they are located in the most populated areas, Caracas, Maracaibo, Barquisimeto, and Valencia. All these have created strong ties with academia and local governments. This allows them to open solitary branches, creating a virtuous circle. Now, I'm telling you why we deserve the GenTech Award. Example one, the ICT workshop. Our participants study for five months in our training center. After having received their training, our students are placed with one of our 85 business partners for a paid internship for two months. After these seven months, theoretical and practical training, they receive a diploma from a recognized university. We train more than eight, 800 women with ICT skills. 100% have been placed in internship. 60% women find a permanent, a permanent job. Almost for all of them, it is the first time they had a proper job. Example number two, computer training courses. Let me give you a bit of a Venezuelan reality. Unlike in developing countries, our girls and women do not have access to the computer and the internet. With a population of 30 million, Venezuela has only 12 million mobile subscri subscriptions. A sizable proportion of our population is illiterate. Many girls don't finish their education because of 
teenage pregnancy. We provide in our training courses access to computer and the internet and basic ICT skills for the knowledge of women's human rights, health, safety, and education. These programs help to close the gender digital gap and bridge the digital divide. From 2006, we have provided more than 10,000 women with these basic ICT skills. Example number three, the Entrepreneurial Workshop Program. This program also trains women in ICT skills and online marketing. This provides the economic empowerment to start their own business. One key result is that our graduates can effectively access the financial sector by getting access to microfinance. So far, we have supported more than 600 women as entrepreneurs. Example four, our college community service. I like to call this our multiply machine. We raise awareness through college students regarding journey issues. First of all, these provide awareness of gender issues among these colleague students. Then our college students will spread this knowledge, providing a multiply effect. They support in teaching the computer training courses and also raise awareness and invite the woman. With the support of 800 volunteers, we have been teaching over 62,000 hours. Example number five, our women's network. To fill this network, we extend open invitations three times a year to all women in our core cities. For these network meetings, we invite professionals to give ICT-related talks. This year, we have a focus on coaching and personal empowerment. This gathering provides us with feedback showing the progress of our graduates in their daily life. Other achievements next to follow up counselor is access to legal aid. This, I'm sorry. This is a key ingredient in women and empowerment, on which I am tremendously proud. So far, we have 15,000 15, registered alumni. By the end of this year, we will have empowered more, more than 25,000 women. Now, let's turn to the future and let me introduce two core initiatives. Empower women as digital community managers, we pick the 30 most talented women per year and provide intensive high quality training. This will enable them to write computer programs, to develop apps, and to design web page. The second initiative will be women innovating digital solutions, training them to learn, teach, and collaborate online via e-learning platforms. This will qualify women in online digital marketing as entrepreneur. Aliadas en Cadena, a private in initiative, has demonstrated that ICT-focused education makes a real difference in daily lives. Thank you.